Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Hello. Happy Friday night. I um, always have to remember a little bit of delay before any of you guys can see me, but if you're watching recorded, I can talk away. So hello, hello. Um, hope you had a good week. I will wait. Oh, I see some of you are on here now live. So yay. Hi, Heather. Hi, Alice. Hi, Deb. Welcome back. Um, sorry, I was just had a little brain delay. Welcome back. Who did I? Kristen from Hawaii. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Tara. Charlene. Hello, my friends. How are you? Did you have a hi, Pam? Julie, how are you? Melanie, Sherry or Cherie. That's how I always say that. I don't know if you pronounce it. I probably ask you every single time, but anyway, we just go with it, right? Hola, Irma. How are you? Hello, BB. Hola, BB. There's a song that I, that is a song like that, that I belly dance to. Isn't that funny? Hi, Sylvia. Hello, friends. How are we? Oh, lots of you here. Hi, Brenda. How are you, cousin? Cindy. Um, Vicky, how are you? So, hello, Mike Wilson. Are you guys moving and not telling me where you're going so I can never come see you again? And are you going to move somewhere with walking paths and stuff? How are you feeling about giving up your acreage? I, I have so many questions. I need to talk to you and Kelly because I'm like, oh my goodness. I guess you guys had talked about this as it was coming, but my friend Mike and um, Kelly, my friends are, put their house up for sale in Nova Scotia and they're moving. And that's super exciting. So now I need to go for a visit so I can see the new house that you guys pick. Hello, Natalie. I owe you a phone call. Uh, Natalie texted me, I think, and called me on Thursday and I said, I'll call in a minute. And it's Friday. And I haven't done that yet. So um, I didn't forget about you just doing crazy things. Hello, Scarol. How are you? So, oh, look at, can you see? I'm having a little hot flash. <laughs> just starts from my neck up. Um, hello, friends, Natalie. I'm so happy. Jessica, how are you doing? So happy to see so many of you. It is like um, a reunion every Friday night or friends getting together. Very exciting. So how we doing? Are we ready to play tonight? Um, things we need to talk about. We need to make plans for National Scrapbook Day. I will not be home. So I am going to go live, I think, from the Dominican. But I'm also going to plan something fun, some challenges and giveaways, some gift certificates to my store. We'll do something fun for our day. So uh, kind of give me some feedback on what you'd love to do. Make sure if you're not already, you're a member of the Vicki Booten Creative Community on uh, Facebook. A hair is there, I got it. Um, I was gonna go blind for a minute. Uh, make sure that we plan something fun with giveaways and all of the things and I will pop on to visit you live from the Dominican if I can get some uh, Wi-Fi signal. Uh, got my friend Carmen hooked. She's watching your live too. I love that, Lisa. We always have room for new friends. Uh, blessings and love from Georgia. Hello, Rita. And Angie, hello, all my friends. Love the earrings. Yes, I have flowers on today. I'm looking forward to tonight too, Irene. I want to play with metallics and watercolor. So, of course, I should only be doing one technique, but we're going to do three. But they're going to be fast. We're going to do some quick uh, mixed media watercolor backgrounds. You can use whatever you want. I have my watercolor paint set here so I'm just going to use that again and then we are going to do some foiling technique with the mink and with my matte acrylic gel I'm going to I pulled out gold embossing powder and embossing ink and a stamp or stencil and I have my gold glaze and I'm going to do three backgrounds that then we are going to work on next week is is good Friday does everyone celebrate good Friday I'm not sure if that's just a Canadian thing or um, if it's everywhere. Uh, so I won't go to live next Friday, but I'm thinking about doing something on Thursday. So um, maybe just making some cards and layouts from what we create tonight. So that will give you the weekend and during the week to do some things. And then we can go from there. Would You can use whatever you have. I, I'm not gonna really go over, like if you don't have the mink or whatever, um, use whatever you have. You can do similar techniques with whatever you have that shimmers, 
right? So if you have an embossing pen and you want to use embossing uh, powder with that, whatever you have, go for it. Because I know not everybody's going to have the mink, but some of you out there will, and you'll have my mediums that you didn't know you could use with the mink. So we're going to do some fun things. Thank you. Karen said I'm an awesome card maker, and I am trying really hard and really embracing it really embracing the card making. I love the butterfly one that I posted and I have two more from last week that I finished that I will post and I still have three more layouts from last week. So I think that will be fun. Hello, Cherie. You're at a crop with my friends, aren't you? So sending lots of love out to my friends in Texas that are at a crop. Um, wish I was there hugging you and drinking some Diet Dr. Pepper with the little ice from uh, where do we get the chewing ice? What I'm trying to think of, what is a restaurant you guys have in the States uh, that, well, Chick-fil-A has good ice, but the one um, that you can drive through and get ice cream and they come out roller skates. I dream of going for a uh, grape cream slush and the Diet Dr. Pepper with chewing ice. Sonic, yes. Oh my goodness. I love, Vicky loves Sonic. I don't want any food there, but I want to chew the ice. Right. I love the ice there because it's the little bubble ice and I bought the machine, but it's a lot of work. So I would just rather drive through Sonic. If we had one every Friday night before we went live, I would drive through um, to get that. I'd have a, a, a Sonic ice. Uh, good day from Australia. Hello. And you are welcome, Robin. Congratulations on the win. Uh, and I got some mail out today and Everything is ready. So as soon as the product arrives for um, Spectrum Sherbet, see, I didn't put the R in there. Uh, it will be kitted up and shipped, but they aren't shipping that till next week. And then it has to arrive at my um, US address and then come over. So we will be doing that. And a lot of Sweet Rush is arriving as well. So we will be kitting one, getting it out, and then kitting the other and getting it out. And doing all the fun things so i feel like that was a lot of the idle chatter do we have any questions before i flip the camera around hello from the uk i'm so looking forward to my trip to england we are doing our cruise so that is in june and then i'm staying for a week six days on my own i'm going to london and staying at two fabulous hotels i'm going to switch so i can go to two different areas i'm going to hook up with my friend Shamel and then anybody else who wants to hook up with me and then just exploring by myself because a lot of people you don't want to hang out with me because I am all about taking pictures experiencing like food and shopping so a lot of people don't want to hang out with me because it's crazy right it's crazy I hope the weather's good for me too but even if it isn't I'll get my rain slicker on and go and explore but it should be all right in June I would think right Curtsy for to the queen for us. I will, Denise, for sure. So anyway, let's flip the camera. I don't think there's any questions. I hope you guys all had a great week. Uh, and thank you, Gina. I love clothes and earrings and shoes and stuff. So thank you. I have, uh, this is all embroidered. So I put this on because it fits now that I've lost weight. So I couldn't get it across my chestises and now I can. So I put it on for you guys tonight. Well, let's flip the camera and do the things because remember, I shared this. Did you guys see that? So can you see the foil on the painted branches? So I'm going to show you a technique doing that. So I have my mink is heated up. I have some gold foil. I have uh, embossing powder. We're going to do the background three quick, three, three, three quick backgrounds. And then we're going to put some metallic on that. And then I'm just going to do them all 12 by 12 tonight, but I will take some of those techniques and make them into card sizes. So when we do our part two, because everything I'm doing now is in two parts, so we're not here till midnight every night, um, we will come and do that, come back and do like projects with it. Okay, so that's the plan for tonight. Hello, Anne. Hi, Heather. Um, so I'm flipping the camera. Let's flip the camera and do the things you've looked at me long enough. I feel, do I shop for antiques? I sure do. I want to go to visit my friends that are are here, showed up tonight from Texas so I can do round top. Um, and I can't wait. I will be in Texas for the second cruise with all my lovely ladies. 
um, in October. And I will go and do some fun things with uh, all of my gals there. So it'll be good. Okay. So I grabbed some of my backgrounds. This one. Oh, yes. I put the medium on this already so we can foil it. Hello, Rich. Do you want to say hi to your friends? No. See, I embarrassed him now, but he doesn't have his hat or any of the weirdness on. Yes, Irene, I will for sure go to Mark, uh, Marks and Spencer's uh, because they have like grocery store at the one in England, different than when we had it in Canada. So I will definitely go and do all of the things. All right. So let's get down to business. So I even sketched. We're going to do a heart pattern. We're going to do some dragging with the medium and then we're going to layer on top of it. And I want to do some stripes because then when we when we um, elevate this one, we're going to decoupage some book paper and some washi tape and some strips. So that's going to be the idea. So the three that I'm going to do are dragged. I'm going to drip the watercolor on and we're going to drag it. I'm going to use my art wedge. You can use a gift card or anything that you have. And then we're going to layer some dots on it that we're going to foil. We're going to do a heart that we're going to randomly paint just a heart background. And then we can either mask, like cut a heart out and mask, or we're just going to randomly paint medium on and foil it. I think that'll be fun, right? Hello, Robin. Macaulay, how are you? I've decided I need some road trips. My friend Lael is in Nashville, and I'm very jealous because that's one of the places I would like to go visit. And then I need to go and visit my Robins. Where are you guys again? Charlotte? Are you in Charlotte? Remind me. I don't want to be rude, but you know, Vicky's memory is terrible. But I, wherever you are, I want to come visit. Where are they, Rich? The Robins. He will remember. Georgia, right? Are they in Georgia? Are you in Georgia, Robin? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think you're in Georgia. I feel like it's in Savannah. Are they in Savannah? Look at how crazy it I, I am. Hello, scrapbook.com. My package arrived and everything was good. So um, I wanted to tell you that I owe you an email. So I'm going to be doing some fun things with for scrapbook.com. So be ready for it. Some fun things. I have some great ideas floating around in my head with one of their new exclusive products. So be ready for that. It's coming. They're in Savannah, Georgia. I, wherever you are, I'm going on a road trip. I've decided that Rich and I need to get in the car and just go drive to a bunch of cool places. Are you in? Do you want to go to Georgia? I said Georgia. I know. Do you want to go to Georgia? And can we go to Nashville? Are they close? Like, is that a trip we could do Tennessee both? Tennessee and Georgia are not that close. They're both southernish places, though. They're close enough. We could do that, right? If we had a motorhome. No, in the fall. Let's do it for our anniversary. Hi, Don. How are you? You can drive to New Jersey. That's not far for me, Lisa, because we're near, right near Niagara Falls. So would we drive through? We've we're been to New going. Jersey. Yeah, we drove to New York. We saw a, a dead bear on the road. Isn't that crazy? A black bear. And there were tourists that had stopped on the highway to look at the dead bear. I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea. Right? Crazy. Don't touch a Spanish Spanish moss. There's chiggers in it are chiggers bugs or are they like thorny things are they bugs or go go to the peach tree you can drive around the city in golf carts yeah you can drive through nashville on your way to georgia i'm doing both so be ready for it robins i'm coming to see you i'm coming to see you they're bugs oh i don't want to touch oh i don't want that i don't want chiggers I don't like chiggers. I've decided I that now I'm itching. Thank you for that. Now all I'm going to think about are chiggers. Um, I won't touch it, Robin. Don't let it get in my hair when I come to visit you. Itchy bugs. Oh, see, it's just getting worse. It's just getting worse and worse. Okay, so tonight, grab three backgrounds. This is going to be loose and fun, and we're going to just do the things. If you don't have anything metallic to elevate it to the next level I'm going to, don't do it. It's all good. But you can certainly do all of this fun thing. All of this fun thing. Remind me of that, Julie. Remind me of that. Send me an email at, to vickybootenkits at gmail.com. I am working on some new exclusive stamp sets. So anything that you would love 
to see in my handwriting for sentiments. Um, I love the idea of the converse to put the shoe. Totally could do that on a stamp set for like a travel or just a fun set. Um, but send me those ideas, right? You're going to go to Savannah. I want to, in the fall, Don, I want a road trip because I think the weather would be nice, right? It won't be too hot. Like places I would like to go. I want to go to New Orleans, Nashville, and Savannah to see my Robins, right? A camera, all of those. Don't tell me I'm here because you. I, I won't remember. Um, but uh, Natalie's here. She might make a little list for me. She's probably got a book of all of that stuff, right? I need to sit on the Forrest Gump bench, right? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> right. Okay, let's do the things. Question, question. My gold glaze lid will not budge. Should I soak it in hot water or use your muscles? Or even take it and put like a butter knife underneath it just to get um, it broken. And then make sure when you're done, you clean your lid. Because you, it's just glued there, but you just need to use your muscles. Get your muscles out, right? Muscles, right? You need to take us with you. I will in the sense, Pamela, that I'll do lives from all of the places. But I really would like to do that, a road trip. So I'm going to start with a heart. Now, this could be a rainbow heart if you want to do it. You could pick just a certain color palette. If you don't want to do a heart, you could do circles, right? Why, Tara, would I want to cook moss in the oven to kill the red bugs? Why would I want the moss? What would I need it for? Because now I'm grossed out because I'm thinking about cooking little red bugs, but I'd have to touch the, the uh, stuff. I don't want to. Hello, Robin. Did you hear that? I'm trying to talk Rich into a road trip. I'll give you guys enough notice so that um, my Robins who work lots of hours can take the time off so that we can go and do that to put them in planters Don. so you bake them to to oh my goodness denise what are you i am not making a mattress out of bug infested moss is that for when we go we have to go like in the forest there's no hotels in savannah for me to stay in <laughs> I have to make a bed of moss I, I think she's just trying to freak me out tonight right I had no idea the chiggers comment would take off. Oh, I'm itching right now. I'm itching. Charleston, I want to do that one too, right? But now I'm freaked out. If I come to Savannah, am I going to be covered in chiggers? Because I'm afraid of that now. I'm afraid of, now I'm itching. Like I, just the name, chiggers, that's a terrible bug name, right? Ugh. So we're going to paint a heart. I'm sorry. It, this is what you're going to get tonight because I'm all hyped up because I went shopping. I went shopping this afternoon and found like a whole bunch of awesome pieces of clothing. So now I'm like all like it, it's my, you know, euphoria. I'm very euphoric. I should do like a, um, a whole bunch of pictures tomorrow on uh, Instagram of my purchases because like, I'm sure two people would be interested in watching that, right? So let's go really loose. We're going to paint a heart. And I'm going to start just on the one side and look at I put that first pigment down and I'm just going to go loose, loose. And now I'll do the other side. And we're going to just make this loose. Oh, I like that brush stroke. See, use the side of your brush. Love that. So whatever you're using, you could be using Distress Ink. You could be using um, your inexpensive watercolor set, whatever you want. And I'm just doing a loose watercolory mixed media heart. Okay, look at, oh, so messy, not perfect. Doesn't need to be. I'm going to come in with some of that red in the, here too. Okay, because this is just loose. Remember, we're going to build layers, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get some pigment down, leave some white space. I'm going to make a orangey, pinky color here. Maybe that, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of pigment. So we'll wash that out a little bit with some water. Woo, that was crazy. Okay. Now I'm going to go with some more yellowy. Oh, I don't want that one. It's going to look like ketchup. Got to be careful. Don't want ketchup. 
doesn't matter if it's perfect just get it on the page question where did you go shopping laura this is what i have to say so you guys will appreciate this in canada or the us sorry for my international friends because i don't think that you have do you have um do you have uh tj maxx home sense what is it called uh in england it has a different name there is the version of that i had a hard time getting that word out there is a version of that store but it has a different name i think in england so i'm going to paint some of this yellow right off the page i want my heart to kind of come off the page on this side okay tj maxx um so here it's winners so i went to winners and i'll tell you why I love Winners TJ Maxx because uh, the stuff is inexpensive, but it's good stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like it's some good stuff. I got I got uh, a whole bunch of tops. I bought this beautiful um, sleeveless sweater, and the sleeves are ruffly, but there's like little dots, polka dots on it. So I love that for layering with my skirts and was very excited. Look how fun that is, right? So even just kind of looking at this, you might be like, Moon, not loving that, Vicky, but we're going to do stuff to it. I'm going to put some more pink in my yellow though, okay? But you can do this in blue. You could do whatever color you want, okay? Maybe some more yellow in my pink. So you could go over this again. I'm going to push some of that water out so it's not just all pooling in the middle. And because we do this, we're going to do like some drips too. Oops, almost flicked it on me. And we'll tap some water into our drips just so they're not just polka dots. Um, question, did you look in the shoe department? I'm trying to locate rain boots. I did. I did not see rain boots um, there. I did not. There were some sandals and running shoes, but I did not see any rain boots. Um, you know where sometimes is, of all places, Walmart. This time of year, they usually have a pretty good selection of rain boots. I have black and white polka dot ones from Walmart and I only really need them for the mud. It's more when we go out hiking, right? So I'm going to pick some of this up though, because um, I want them to be a little lighter, not all dark. Okay. And then put another layer on top. Maybe some more pink in there because as the paint dries, right, we can build layer. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go in, take some of my water out, and I'm going to build a little bit of darker paint around some of these. A little bit of yellow. Right? So if you go, when the paint starts to dry, you can build some depth on there. And I'm going to go in with the yellow now. Take a little bit of the water out. Okay, good enough. Let's let that dry a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry, it's pretty wet. And then we're gonna come back, pushing some of that pigment out, cause I don't like that it all pooled right there. <gasps> do I do it? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Okay, and then we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna come back in. We are going to paint some medium and I'm going to put some gold on here. Okay. You question, what kind of paper are you painting on? Uh, my foundations paper. 
It is 140 pound, so it is great with wet mediums. So this is what it looks like if you're going to purchase it. It has a rainbow on the front, but it's just an acetate sheet. And you get 12 in the pack, and it is great for wet mediums. Okay. I'm missing all of our conversations. What have I missed? Because uh, do you ever do retreats in the Niagara Falls area? I live in Virginia and really want to see the falls. I would like to now that we're seeing the other side of COVID, right? Is I would, oops, did it shut off? It's still going. Um, eventually, I would like to do a Vicki Booten weekend event where it's all mixed media. But we have never really looked at it because COVID times happened, right? And any kind of plans that we made kind of went away. So um, I would eventually like to do that. We have talked about it a lot. But um, yeah, I think that would be fun. So now I'm going to do a quick mixed media background where I'm going to pool the paint and then I'm going to drag it and we're going to layer it. And then I'm going to put three colors. I think navy, pink, and orange. That's my color palette on this one, okay? Use whatever you want. I have purple rain boots. Bought them years ago at Macy's. That's a great place. Yeah, in the U.S., any of your department stores, right? Okay, what did I say? Navy. Okay, let's do the thing. So I'm just, like I said, you can use whatever you want. I am just opting for this set because it was sitting here, okay? Okay. So I'm going to layer a lot of pigment and water here. Messy is good. Now let's see what happens when we drag this. Ready? So I'm going to use the flat, widest edge of my... I love that. Did you see what happened? So magic just happened there. I'm going to show you that again. So I'm going to put pigment down in that layer like this. So not just in the same spot. We're going to put pigment in different spots. This technique is all going to be about layering it, right? Now watch when I drag because the paint is already starting to seep into the porous paper. So what you end up getting are the kind of uh, remnants of that pigment are in. So now see, just kind of um, skipping across it, right? <gasps> I love that. So don't forget inexpensive watercolors. So the um, pigment separates from the binder in these, but we're going to embrace that, right? Because not, it's not always going to be perfect. I'm going to dry this. I want to dry the first layer. I'm getting the heat gun out, right? Anybody playing along tonight? Unplug this. I don't want to blow any fuses because I've got lots of stuff going here. Let's try that. So I'm not going to bake it like a cookie. I just want to get the pigment out or the moisture out and do another layer. I'm loving the navy, but it's not dark enough for what I want to do. So I am just going to take some moisture out and layer another layer of pigment. I love how um, the watercolor is wicking out, but you will see it will definitely have a chalky finish because this is not uh, expensive watercolor. It's inexpensive and the binder and the pigments separate a little bit, but we're going to embrace it like we don't care, right? We don't care. We can still work with that. Hello, Debbie. How are you? I'm doing a page or three while watching. I love it. So see how pretty that is? Can you guys see that? So I'm going to, guess what? Just layer some more navy on top. Just going to layer some more. You've been sick for two weeks. Oh, Betty, I hope you feel better. That is in no way fun, any kind of fun. Are my Robins together tonight? Or are you guys watching from your own homes? I have lots of stuff coming up. We will be doing the um, Crop and Create. Oh, I am digging this. My friends, Crop and Create uh, paper crafting event. So my paper is a little bit buckled. So I'm just going to push that across and layer some of that blue. 
Watch you don't peel the paper though, okay? If your paper's too wet, don't add too much friction because that could happen, okay? But we will. I'm going to do this one more time. Some more blue. Lots of pigment in it. Lots of pigment in it. Don't rub too hard and peel your paper, meaning when you get those kind of little fuzzies on it, right? So I am going to push my pigment back and forth. Pulling it up, pulling it down. Ooh, I like those lines too. Just kind of work with your um, art wedge. Oh, I love it. And now the other thing I'm going to do is just let that kind of bleed across. I'll show you. I can't show you just yet. I love it. Lots of depth there. Okay. And we're going to give this a little dry. And then I'm going to go in with hot pink and orange. Good enough it's not totally dry but it's not pulling around okay boop, boop. all right let's go in with some hot pink i'm going to do the hot pink first okay so i am going to pull this in the other direction and it can layer and maybe even make a little bit of purple okay so we know now I'm going to tap a little bit of pink on there, too, into my purple. Oh, I love that. That is making me all kinds of excited. So I'm going to pull this one towards me now, okay? So push it back in a little bit, and then, oh, yeah, pull it down. Look at that, my friends. And I'm not even going to work that too much because just really dig in. That, and then kind of breaking it up with those lines so that will be in my orange when I go in with some orange too. Digging it. Gonna put some drips here too though. Because I don't want it to just kind of finish and into the orange there can be some pink. So again pick whatever color palette you want right? And yes, and I have ordered art wedges and palette knives. I will be stocking all of that when I get my next big order. It's all in there. So um, if you are placing an order with me, they will be in there. Okay. Because I am actually out of art wedges. So it is one of my tools from my product line with American Crafts. Okay, I'm not going to bake it like a cookie. Now look at, because these are inexpensive uh, watercolor and there's chalkiness to them, it really layers pr prettily. That's not even a word. It looks really pretty when I layered it on that navy. I'm leaving this wet because I want to drag. Now I'll drag the orange this way. So I'm going to go in with some really vibrant orange. So I worked a little backwards. My watercolor is a little dirty. I need an art wedge. I do love them, Carol. They are very fun. Okay, let's get some orange in here. I'm going to throw a little yellow in it, I think. Maybe not. Let's just go. Go with the orange. Let's see what happens now with that. Okay. Going to push some back in there. And then this one, I'm going to really kind of work. Now, because the blue is dry, we can blend the orange in there and not worried about making mud because it is already dry. I love this. I don't feel like we need to do much more with that. Like it just is cute. Just go with it, right? Sometimes you need to know when to stop, right? 
Now, the one thing I will do is I'm going to bring a little bit of navy down the middle once I dry this. I'm going to bring a little navy and then put some navy splats on there. But look, how fun is that? Look how easy that was, right? And even if you don't have an art wedge, you totally can just use an old gift card, like anything that is um, straight and uh, has some rigidity to it. And this just drag your paints. You could do this with Distress Ink, Oxides watercolor acrylic paint very fun very easy look at do do background made right question laura lurker laura here i brought up the original uh, enamel pin i know you did i i do have a set what i'm going to do is i will post them when i do my store update but that got crazy <laughs> i got crazy so I will let you guys know when that's going up. I have to count them, but I, I must have at least 20 of them. And I am doing a new enamel pin. We're working on that with my designer. Um, so I know, I, I don't even know where to go with that. I don't even know because again, it's one Vicky dealing with all, all of the things that I find even going through the email these days is a lot. It's overwhelmingness, right? So I will figure it out. But I did get the emails that you guys sent me, right? This is awesome. It's fun, right, Natalie? And I think the color palette will be good. And gold is going to look really awesome on here. So um, I want to show you guys that it does. Don't overthink it. How fast did we just go with those two backgrounds? And the next one's going to be just as fast. And we might just drag it again, but just in um, strips. Throw out the color palette throw out a color palette. Do you want me to do blues and greens with maybe a little bit of pink in it? Blue, greens with just a little bit of pink. Throw out the color palette because I'm going to do stripes again. And I might put all the paint down and just drag it in like, so we can't have two secondaries. Okay. Because it will make a mess. It'll make mud. So, um, I want to put some navy and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. So let's just put a couple of, look at, I'm going to just drip some navy and drag it. Let's see what happens. But I need some drips up here too, because that's just how I roll. Let's see what happens now. Let's just see. Oh, I love it. So now there's just like a hint of that navy and then leave it alone because some of that orange is still wet. And guess what happens? Mud. So I don't want mud. So I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to set this side to dry. But I love the pink on top of the navy. I just saw like a whole other technique here. Um, blue, green, and lilac. Can't do it. Can't do it. Green and purple are two secondaries, right? So it has to stay in uh, like, I'll, I'm just going to do cools, okay? And then I'll finish it with some pink. Because we can't get into mud. I know some of you guys probably wouldn't care. Like you would like the earthiness. But that just will throw me over. You're crushed. <laughs> You'll be fine. You're going to be fine. You can do that. You just would have to let the colors dry. Okay. But I'm going to just do like green, teal, navy. Like we'll do it like that. Because gold will look freaking awesome on that too. And I'm really digging the navy. It's like my version of Natalie's black, right? Question. Do you still have the watercolors in the store? I have tons of them, Karen. I have tons of them. And you can just drive down the street and I will hand deliver it to you at my door. The paint I'm using is just my inexpensive watercolor set. This is great for backgrounds, right? Just throw it on. These I have in the store for, what are they, $7? Um, because I know, I know that it is not the best quality because it's inexpensive watercolor, right? But it still will do very beautiful things. So let's, let's just put some dots of color. How about in the middle? And we can pull it either way. Or do you want me to start from the left and pull to the right? Maybe left and pull to the right. Purple and pink aren't secondary. No, they aren't. But the color was, uh, there was green in there, I think, in the one. But I'm going to go with just turquoises, turquoise, blue, and navy. Okay? 
So let's just go down and let's do some navy. Whoop, 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 like this. Okay. I'm going to do navy again here. Okay. Got to work fast because this will dry, right? So let's just throw some colors down. Let's throw some colors down and kind of offset. Because we can do this more than once, right? Ooh, that green. Yeah, let's throw some of that on there. Throw some green. And some green. Some green. Let's do the turquoise again. Ooh, I'm going to do this. Look at what's happening. Just give her, friends. Just get in there. Let's see what we do. Just keep your color palette either in the warms or the cool and see what you get. Okay. Going to go in with a little bit more blue and I'm going to go in with the really light blue here. Oh, I don't know. This could be good. It could be a hot mess. Let's try it. Let's go. Okay. My dirty paint water. See that? There's your purple. Um, let's just drag it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. And push it back. Let's see what we get. Let's kind of skip to my loo. Do some of those right where you just kind of skip your color across. Oh. And then I'm going to bring it up. Maybe do some li little waves in it. And then I might even let it run. Let's see what we get. So how you guys doing? I'm just letting this run and you can't see it yet. Secondary colors. Are any um, of your primaries mixed? So uh, that would be your yellow, blue, yellow. Oh my goodness, Vicky's having a brain fart. Yellow, blue, and red. Yellow, blue, and red are your primary colors. So red and blue make purple, blue and yellow make green. And then you have orange, which is red and yellow. Those are your secondaries. If you mix any secondary to colors together, you will make mud, right? You will make mud. This is the Vicky Booten Art Wedge. Silicone, right? So yes, so any secondary colors, that is the easiest color theory you will ever learn. Just remember that don't mix secondary colors together because that is when you get mud. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this. I got to dry that first and then we'll go and add another layer on here. It looks like sand art where the pigments have separated. And sometimes you just need to know when to stop. So what I'm going to do is drip on this side. I'm going to turn the page and pull them into the other side. It looks like, like melted wax kind of craziness, right? Okay, I'm going to pick up the excess moisture out of here wherever it is, just make sure you move your paper towel so you don't deposit the color you're lifting. And I'm going to put those drips on this side and then I'm gonna pull some of that in, okay? I'm gonna go in with my navy, beachy colors, I love it. Yes, this. let's call this background, Robin, beach glass. I am going to call this background beach glass. I'm going to not put as much pigment down, kind of be selective on where I'm placing because I still want this kind of bajiggity-ness that's going on. And I want more of that really light blue on here in my beach glass. Okay, let's see what happens. So now there's more space. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, I'm going to kind of drag that across a little bit. And then I'm also going to let these ones leak across too and i think i would like to bring some more of that navy down let's bring some more of that navy in here and up here because or something what are we going to put up here make a new color 
Okay. Skip it across a little bit just to get the pattern started. And then let's tap that one down and let it bleed in. Oh, I love this. I might, oops. Look at that. <gasps> so fun. I need a couple drips just in random spots. Maybe there, maybe right here. I just went in with that lighter blue. Oh, I love it so much. Just be loose tonight. Be loose. Loose as a goose. Just have fun with it, right? Yes, very organic. Is navy considered primary because it's shades of blue? Um, It could be, right? Because it's still blue, right? Your turquoise is because turquoise is, has some green end, uh, has some green, which would have yellow and blue. So just kind of mess around with it, friends. Like it just, I try to keep it as simple as possible. We could do like deep dives into um, color theory. But the one thing I want you guys for when we're doing just art for everyone is just keeping in mind, if you want cleaner, pure color, don't mix your secondaries together. Okay. So we just kept this blue and green and turquoise. And then by pulling the colors together and stuff, we're not going to get into uh, dirt. Okay, I'm really digging this. So we're just going to go with that. I'm going to pick up some of that. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to stop touching this. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop touching this. But, oh, look at that. Oh, I love this. Can you tell? Very excited. If Mike Wilson was still here, Mike, I would say it's my favorite. Because he tells me that I say that a lot of times sung to the tune of footloose right you gotta cut loose footloose right just be loose just let it happen because this is one layer and we can put a whole bunch of stuff on there but i love that that's very fun this would make a beautiful card background you just do it smaller scale right no maybe i won't make mud i was really good at it and i didn't like it so Carol, because when we're in a class, because I do a lot of mixed media classes where I'm like, let's do, well, you have me for three hours in a classroom. Let's just do the things and let's let's um, really give her. So now when I'm here, you can ask the questions if it doesn't turn out um, like you had it in your head. So the first thing I'll say is don't put everything onto one page. Just because you like all of the colors, you don't necessarily have to put all of them on the page. You can get beautiful results from like a very simple color palette. So that would be one of my um, biggest tips when you're doing mixed media that it's okay to just pick like three shades of blue and just do it, right? Peaks of yellow totally could do that, Carol, right? Yellow will work with that. Um, but yeah, you just want to do the things. But I love this. It's very loose, very fun. And that was quick. Look at, we just whipped three backgrounds off very quickly, right? So now we're going to elevate them with some metallic because this could be it tonight. We could have done this and I could say, okay, good night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Thursday. But we're just going to do um, a few things that elevate this with some metallic. And then I'm going to say, okay, that's great. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Thursday. All right. Tonight could have been where I just showed you one. Oop, that is still wet. Um, one way to add metallic. But I'm going to show you three different options. So we have embossing powder. I'm going to use gold embossing powder with some embossing ink. I have some creative effects, gold glaze, and this one's going to be so much fun. We're going to do this first so it dries, and this will be the last one I'm going to put through my mink machine. And you are going to see that when this dries, it will foil. You can totally use this in a um, 
uh, what is that called? Laminator, mink machine, whatever you have. Okay. This will totally work. I love this one. These two are like, I love this. So this one is my least favorite. So now let's, how do we make this magic, right? How do, do I make this um, where I like it more, right? So let's do it. I'm going to, I think this one is going to be the one where I am going to take a uh, dry brush and I'm going to paint some little thin lines around here and I'm going to foil that right? So this is called matte acrylic gel. This you can use as a decoupage medium. You can use it to thin paints. You can use it as a glue and you can use it to foil. So a lot of you guys bought this because it had my name on it. You're huge supporters. When it came out, you bought it and you probably have never used it. So I'm going to show you one of the magic things to do with this. I did this a while ago. I did this a while ago. Um, you could e actually even foil this. You could put your um, iridescent down and you could foil that as well because it will still stay tacky and when it's heated, um, it will pick up the foil. So this needs to go on and then it needs to dry. So I'm not going to put it on very thick because we need it to dry so we can do this. I can add lots of different things. Oh, and Natalie with her black. Just sit over there and, and behave yourself, Miss Natalie, in your black. I used navy tonight. That's close. So I'm going to go in here with some acrylic gel. She is funny. She likes her black. Put black on it. But I agree. Maybe with a stamp later, I might stamp on it with black. Or even with, because um, it would look great on here, some black. But we are going to go in here. And now we have different options. I could go in and we could just paint this on. I could put the medium through a stencil. So you have that option. If you're nervous to just paint on there, you could put your medium through a stencil and put that on there, right? So um, I'm going to try painting it first. So the first layer I'm going to do is paint. So I'm going to get another brush because this one is wet and I don't want to uh, have this wet. I want it to go on kind of draggy and dry brushed. So let me find, and the, the cheaper the brush, I think the better, right? Oh, look at this, the jiggity brush. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, this one's all crunchy too. So let's try, I'm gonna do a thick line and a thin line. I, I really want the draggy brush marks on it. And something to put the medium on. Natalie, I'm still laughing at Natalie and use the black. I love it. Question, could you put it on with your brayer? You could, but you're going to have one big solid line, right? One big solid line. So yeah, you could. Or the paint you could put on, but uh, the medium, if you brayer it, just know that it's going to be a lot of foil. So you could totally, you can do, try any of the things, right? Marveen, question. Have you thought about putting more pages in your foundation's paper pack? Um, no, because the price will go up, right? So no, it's uh, it's an American craft thing and the weight, is it, they're too, it's too heavy. So I don't think so. I don't think so. It's going to probably just stay um, the way it is. It's a great idea, but the weight, they're already like these, those paper packs because paper so heavy and then the price point um with american crafts they like to keep their price point in a certain place so okay want to know what i'm going to do before i even put this um i'm going to run this through my wink my wink run this through the mink and flatten it out so this is the other great thing that you can do with your mink this is the mink okay so let me put it here. This is my mink. I just turned it up to four. I'm going to wait. Ah. And let me grab something because I don't, this is brand new. I had to order it because my other one was filthy dirty. And I'm going to put some other paper in here once I find where I put it. I have rolls and rolls of 
paper, but do you think Vicki remembers where I put it? Oh, look, I found some tissue. What is this paper? Some kind of calligraphy paper that I order because I buy all papers. Everything that I can find in paper, I buy it. So this is a calligraphy paper. Let's see what it feels like. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to have to do something fun. Oh, it's textured too. Oh, it's like rice paper. I love that. We got to do something magical with this, my friends. So the only reason I'm covering this is I don't want it to transfer onto my new, my new um, uh, little folder that you put through your mix. So I'm just gonna do that and sandwich it in there. And I'm gonna run it through the mink just to flatten it out and get the moisture out, okay? So this is kind of thick, but I think it will still go through. So now we can just talk about the weather for a minute. <laughs> what is this and why did I buy it? All the time, Don. but I will buy all papers right? Aren't you like that? I will buy all papers. Hello, Lynette. How are you? How you feeling, my friend? Um, and did I miss any other questions? Yeah, the whole thing is, is price point is everything. So um, there must have been a reason they put that many um, pages in it for what the price is. Kristen, it's 103 in um, Southern California today because it never rains in Southern California. And they tell me, right? Little Tony, Tony, Tony. So let's see if that flattened it out. Sometimes you got to run it through a couple times, right? Is your trip with the kids, uh, which one, Laura, to um, the Dominican is all of us, right? Uh, what did you wrap your paper in? It's just, it's, you could put it in anything. I just had some calligraphy paper, right? But yes, no thank you to 103. And it's humid too, isn't it? 103 and humid. So see, look it, now it's all flat. Just running it through the mink takes all the moisture out and flattens your page. So that's all. I just wanted to do that. And it didn't transfer anyway. But but this paper is really awesome. I'll let you guys know. I just go on and, and search different papers. And I buy all of them. And a lot of it is for gel plate printing. I like to print on lots of different mediums. So that is literally Chinese calligraphy paper. That I had never even opened I had never even opened it. This machine is the mink. Yeah. It is Heidi Swap's mink for foiling. And we're going to foil. But I wanted to flatten my pages out, which I'm going to do with all of them. I'll put all of them through. But now look, I love that for the mixed media. You, you can do it if it's a medium that's not going to transfer, right? So let's do the things. Now we're going to paint some of the matte acrylic gel. When it comes out, it's white, but it dries clear. This is a newer bottle, right? So it is like a decoupage medium, but what's nice is it doesn't dry sticky. So uh, I know I am not always a fan of, it's chilly, it's only 73 in Florida. Okay, Don, okay. It's, that's chilly, right? That's super cold but maybe in Florida, I guess. So see this uh, ratty brush is going to be fun. So I'm going to go on the outer edge with the ratty brush and just deposit some medium in this kind of brushed, draggy, skippity pattern. And then we're going to see how that foils. I think it's going to be fun. We don't want it too, too thick, but you still need to get enough medium on. So your gold has something to stick to. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I might just use this brush. 
Let's go in the center here. Now you cannot see this until we put it through with foil on it. Okay. I think it's going to be fun though. I think that even Natalie will not even be sad that I didn't do it in black. Now we can do it in any foil color. If you want me to do something other than gold, I have like hot pink and a whole bunch of different foils. So we can decide that. Okay. All right. So I have two gold. Let's decide. We'll do a couple thin line maybe, or just one thin line. I don't know if that's even going to work, but we'll see. Okay. What's nice is because it's on the watercolor, I can see it because it's reconstituting the watercolor. So I can see exactly where I put it on, but there is draggy marks of the medium. Now we have to let that dry. So that's why I did this one first. Okay, and then I'm even going to put, see if I can get that to work so we can foil some of the dots. So I'm going to see if I wet that, but it's thick enough, can we get, yeah, that's not going to, I have to fake it. We'll see if that will dry enough to give us some little gold dots. It might work, it might not. Okay, I'm gonna set this on top of the mink because the mink's hot and it should dry pretty fast, okay? So I have gold, but my gold strips, like I'm gonna have to piece it because I don't have a full piece of the gold. So, but you will see, like, look at, look at the pink, pinky purple. Like I have a whole bunch, like this is iridescent, pinky purple. Um, I have a whole drawer. I have, I have leopard print, <laughs> but that wouldn't be good because it's not solid enough, right? So I'll go, I have, my gold is in strips. I have a full, oh, maybe I have it down here. I might've brought it down. This is going to be pretty though. If it works, it's going to be pretty. If not, <laughs> we'll just pretend. Okay, so that was that one. I'm going to put this brush in the water, wipe that up. Okay, so now we are going to do emb heat embossing with the gold. That has to dry. The medium has to dry. You cannot put it through your mink when it's wet because there's nothing to stick to. When that medium dries, it's going to be sticky. Can we use our dryers on it? You can, but because it's acrylic base, it will bake it, like it'll start to bubble. So I'm gonna let it dry for a bit and then I'll go in with my heat gun as a last resort. But I have put it, my mink is on right now, so it's warm. So I just put my paper on top of that. And I'm getting up for one second, friendlies. Oh, look it, yay! Just to let you guys know. So remember I told you I have to stock my store. So I picked all of these, my favorite um, colors of foil that I'm going to add to my store. Look at this one. <gasps> that would be so good. But I'll just go in with gold. But look at, I have like holographic. Is this not like the best thing in the world? Holographic animal print. So these are going to be going up in my shop because I don't know how easy it is to find anymore, right? Not minks, I won't be selling any minks, but I did buy some of those, not very many, but a couple, okay? What is the medium called? It is matte acrylic gel, matte acrylic gel. Okay, yay. So moving that aside, so now what do you need? You need embossing ink. I'm going to use gold embossing powder. We're going to do like a whole session of embossing too. I've bought a whole bunch of different embossing powders. We're going to do some fun things. But you need that. I have my little catcher. 
And now I am going to do it on this. So my idea here is that we can stamp on here with a little text stamp down here, but I'm going to do some polka dots. So it's going to look very mixed media-ish. And I'm going to use uh, one of my um, Vicky Booten stencils, okay? So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put some gold dots here and maybe down here and some text. So we will do the gold dots first. And then we are going to go in with the text stamp. I think this is going to be very fun. You're coming, uh, you're coming to my house, Karen? Yes. Oh, yes. Coffee filters are perfect for that too, Denise. But I would have to go upstairs to get that. And um, I had that down here, so I'm going to use that. I am just getting an ink blending tool. This will work. I'm just going to use this little thinger. Just going to use this thinger. You could use whatever to put it through your stencil, but I'm going to load it up with the ink. I'm not going to put like perfect polka dots. And don't forget, you could transfer this because it is watercolor. So just make sure you don't get your pad all dirty, okay? But we are going to make it look kind of funky fun with some gold dots. So get that down. I'm going to do a section at a time so my ink doesn't dry. Okay. Hoping that I put enough down. We will see in a minute. Let's sprinkle our gold on. Look how dirty it is because this is very well loved. So there's like little chunks of fluff and crap in here. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so much fun, friends. Okay. Oh. I don't even care if um, there's extra little dots of gold. I did not put an anti-static or anything because I don't care. Like it add, will add to the charm. So just make sure you get enough embossing powder where you put your ink down. You could always go in and put more because the stencil you could position again. So I'm going to heat up my heat gun. See you later, Pamela. What is it? Do you just go to bed early or is it late where you are? Oh, I have to plug my Mac, my uh, computer in too. So as soon as this is done, because it's saying low battery, can't have that, right? So only heat it till you see it change. Goes from matte to shiny. See, matte too shiny and it is good oh i should have run this through my mink before i did this but i didn't so now that ship has sailed okay like look at that look at that leveling up oh my goodness i love it so much so now i'm going to put see if i would have run this page through um i could have flattened it out but I would have had to do that before the embossing powder. You can't run this through your mink now because it will heat the embossing powder and stick to the folder. So you don't want to do that. Okay. So I also want some of the, um, I'm going to use the same stamp we used last week with the uh, book paper and then a couple more dots on here. So I'm going to put the book paper like right here and then some dots down here. So let's just do the dots because we've got the stencil right here. So I am going to put some dots right here. Okay. Let's see what we get.
I love embossing powder. So don't forget about that, my friends. Like it was a big thing when I first started, right? I had all of the embossing powder. And then I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't used it for a while, right? Card makers, yes. But my scrapbooking, oh my gosh, I'm going to love this background so much. So much. Is Pam not feeling well? Feel better, my friend. Feel better. And have a good weekend. If anybody who's not sticking around and you're going to finish, watch it later. Um, thank you for joining me. If you're not hanging around um, till we're done. And if you're watching after the fact, welcome. Even if you're not live with me. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. I could go now and freaking gold emboss polka dots on all the things. One of the things I would like to do, and maybe I will do it as like a $20 class, is altering jeans. We are going to, what is the name of my embossing powder? It is Ranger Gold, gold embossing powder. I bought a whole bunch of embossing inks, powders that I'm going to add to my store too, because I would like to do like a whole month of just embossing because I have a fun, couple of really fun techniques that um, I've just messed around with that I think you guys would enjoy. Hi. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Why you need a ride somewhere to bowling to bowling. Yeah. Do I get to come? I, my reservations are free, but if you, uh, I love, tw is it 12 pin? Yeah, you. I'll, I'm going to bring my ball and everything, right? I have my own ball with my initials engraved in it. Wouldn't he love that? He wants me to go on his date. I can totally tell. He wants me to drive him. I should be able to stay and play. Can you guys see that, though? Oh, my goodness. How much do you love this? Look at that. Oh, see? Just elevate it with metallics. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of text right here, but we don't want the whole thing. Remember this text stamp, which is a hero arts. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to wipe some of it off. Okay. Cause my paper towel should be here somewhere. So let's get in there and ink the stamp up, but then I'm going to rub some of the ink off. Cause I don't want a rectangle of gold. Where did you, there it is. I threw it over in the corner here. I find it. I do it. Ooh, but there's, <laughs> I also have medium on it. So I'm going to find a clean section and not put that on my stamp. And now I'm going to rub for sure the corners off and some out of the middle and see what we get. Okay. Just rub some off. And then I'm going to stand up and I'm going to put this down. I don't know any Metallica songs, Keisha. Not one Metallica song. And that I don't think should surprise you at all. That is not my um, music in my music library. I listen to lots of things, but I don't think I ever have listened to Metallica. So tell me a Metallica song, because maybe I'll know one. I don't think so. But let's still be friends, Keisha. <laughs> Keisha laughed she posted did you guys see that she was excited that we were um doing metallica tonight not me not metallic but metallica she was very excited for her and i totally burst her bubble because it is not metallica night on uh vicky Booten live it is metallic night we could do queen i could have a queen night but yeah nope sorry <laughs> I don't know any Metallica songs, right? Nothing else matters. That's probably the only one I know. And nothing else matters, right? Um, enter Sandman. Oh, I need some words because I probably would know that. Are you guys all disappointed now that I'm not a Metallica fan? That is my brother. My brother, Jamie, loved heavier because they would, I think, would be considered heavy metal, wouldn't they, Metallica? I know that nothing else matters, one. And maybe enter Sandman. Who sings, off to never, never land? Is that Metallica? <laughs> 
Um, is that like right off to Never Never Land? Who sings that? Is that Metallica? Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this because it's like so delicious. It's not even funny. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, can you see that? That's totally going on the card. Yeah, I need some R and B. But is that Metallica? Who what song is that? Is that Enter Sandman? Often never never land. See? That was me getting all um heavy metal for you guys. Got the deep raspy voice going. That just made you so proud, didn't it? Is that Enter Sandman? That's that one? <laughs> okay, I'm putting a little bit more on here because it's freaking beautiful. I don't know where to put it, but it's got to go on here. You guys got to see this better. Isn't that funny? But that is not, and that rich, that's not his vibe either. So it's not like, you know, just because when you're dating and you just listen to the music because you're like, yeah, I love Metallica. Just because, you know, you like the boy. He didn't like that. So I didn't have to pretend that I liked Metallica. Um, but like if we're down for some prints or, you know, Vicky's all over that. <laughs> but that is one genre of music that isn't my jam. You know, have you watched the Motley Crue movie? It's it's very, um, it's not for everybody. So don't go and watch that one if uh, you don't like that kind of thing. Because there's some, it's a little bit on the gross side. But I really, I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. I thought the actors were really awesome in it. But... Uh, that's about as far as I go, right? My husband listened to, listened to it way back when. I never did on purpose. <laughs> that is awesome, Keisha. So I'm putting a little bit more gold, and then I'm going to leave this. I don't want to overdo it, but look how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. I love it all day long. And then I will take this page, and I will put it under some stacks of cardstock. So when we go to do our layout on it, it actually will be uh, a little bit flatter. So I could have also stamped it, put the um, powder on, and I could have brushed some of it off with a paintbrush if I wanted to be very selective in where um, there was pigment and there wasn't, or uh, embossing powder and there was and wasn't. Because I should have brushed some off down there. I would have liked it a little bit better. But I love this. Can you guys see that? <gasps> and I'm going to know when to stop now. Actually, I'm a liar. Should I put some dots just off the side of the page here? I am. I'm going to do that. Just because this came down here. So I'm just going to put some dots there. Just a few. Going off the page because I think that that will balance it out a bit. I'm gonna pour that on here. Dawn, do you listen to Metallica? So who is into heavy metal here? Now I need to know. See, I think that will balance it a little bit more. Um, Am I alone? And a lot of you guys love that stuff. What is your favorite band? I would like to know, what is your favorite band? What script stamp is that? I'll have to tell you later, Heather. I'll post it. Um, I will find that. Natalie, you like heavy metal? I, I can't even, Nat. I am shocked by that. What is your favorite band? Metallica? Natalie, I can't even believe that. I'm shocked. Not that, you know, like that's awesome. I just am surprised by that, that you like heavy metal. Some of these were not actually finished. So let's do that quick. And I turned it on a different angle. I could see that I had not melted the embossing powder. 
So I love this page so much, right? You'll listen to anything. I love Journey. I love Journey, Lucy. I'm right there with you, right? Highway run into the midnight sun. Wheels go round and round in my mind. Tears for fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. I have no clue who Frankie Jovich is. Oh, oh my goodness, friends, just a second. My computer just died. Computer just died. I hope I didn't lose everybody. Remember, I told you the battery was dying on it. So give me a second. Let's see. You guys are still there, right? You're still there? Just give me a sec. Ah. Split screen. So just give it a second. It should um, kick in pretty quick, I would think. Sorry about that. You can still see me, though, but only on half a screen. So just give me one second till I get this guy back up here. Ugh. I need a Swiffer cloth or something for this, right? That's the problem with these sticky mats. Vicki, you are such a dingling. Here it comes. Just a sec. Just a second. There we go. I pushed my luck. Hi, just a sec here. There we go. Can you still hear me and everything? Is it all working still? Eagles. I love the Eagles too. You can't get rid of us that easy. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Yes, yeah, Swiffer cloth is magical, but I don't, it's, this is so sticky, right? So I have to, um, it's, it requires a lot of work when you go to clean it off, but I just bought a couple different new mats so i'm going to switch it out but yes i love this friends i love how this one turned out see with the metallic very pretty right very pretty i don't know who tyler childers is is that country devin would know so um i will have to ask her who tyler Child childers I don't know the countries, just the old stuff. If we're, if we're going to start talking about um, Dolly or uh, um, or Loretta Lynn, that kind of stuff, that I know. But I am not familiar with um, newer country. Please share what kind of mats you got if they work. For sure, Robin. Um, I got a new one from natalie what is the one stamp company that you work with oh my goodness i totally have a brain fart um it's a black mat what is the big black mat right oh flatten this one out first thank you betty look at you you're you are um totally Helping me out. And look it. And this is all dry. So we can do this at the same time. It's not dry down here, but I'm going to squish it. So that I will dry that one. Because if it's if it's not dry, it will just glue to the uh, page. But that is totally going to work out. I love it. Very excited. Let's flatten this, though. Because... Betty's got my back. Question, can you still buy that text stamp? I'll let you know, Mandy. I'm going to look it up when I get off, and then I will put a link to it, okay? So it will be posted on in the description of this and the Facebook, uh, Facebook and YouTube. As soon as I'm done, I will look it up, okay? Because then I can put my share sale links, too. Because if you're going to go and buy it, it costs you nothing, but helps me out for doing these, right? Yes, the new, I have the Ulta new one. That's the one I have, Angie. It's in the other room, the new black um, mat. So I will let you know. I'll use it next week so that um, you guys can see it in action. 
But yep, yeah, that's the one I have. Ange is the new Ulta new. Oops, what did I press? That's okay, it's on number five. Um, so I'm going to flatten this out. This is just some calligraphy paper, but you could put anything. Uh, what is the paper when we're baking? You could use that. But um, yeah, I just don't want the paint to transfer on my brand new mat. So that's the only reason I'm doing that. Uh, they ship to Canada. The black mat is awesome. I love it. Um, I don't know, Ange, but if it's something you wanted, you could always just get in touch with me. And I can uh, get it. Parchment. Thank you, Betty. Look at Betty is like totally my assistant tonight. I love it. You're awesome. Thank you, all of you guys. Angie and Lori, too. The plastic sleeve I'm using is the plastic sleeve that comes with the mink. It's so your stuff isn't transferring on the rollers, right? Um, so this is nice because this will flatten out my background you had tickets to adele coldplay and foo fighters and all the concerts are postponed or canceled at least michael buble held strong earlier this year right betty gets a gold star she totally did she totally is helping me while we're waiting what are you doing with um uh, sct a mini album it's a mini album using the Indigo, uh, I forget what it's called, the Indigo line from uh, Simple Stories. It's beautiful. So if you're signed up for Crop and Create Delivered, the paper crafting one, you are going to love that class. Deli paper would work great too. I have it too, Debbie. I just went into that drawer and this is the first thing I found. Let me see how flat it is or if I wanna put it through one more time. Do you see? Look at the difference, right? Look at the difference, but I'm going to do it one more time just to flatten the, I love this freaking background. I hope you guys are playing along at some point. If you can't play with me live tonight, because I know a lot of you guys, um, you're tired on Friday if you worked all week. So a lot of times you just like to watch. I think for multiple reasons, right? SCT is Scrapbooking Cards Today magazine, Debbie. I've worked with them pretty much almost... Oh, from their beginning over 10 years. That's how I know my friend Angie. That's how I met a lot of you guys, right? So I am doing that. Uh, crap. Just bought Lael's class for the same line. Um, it's okay, but it'll be different, right? But you're not en enrolled, so it won't matter, right? You'll be fine. Uh, you did the card class. Yes, very fun. I'm doing something very fun with a card um, event in the fall. So um, that will be fun working on that, right? Yes, 16 years since their birthday issue. So probably 15 years I've been with them, Kristen. And I've done all of the Crop and Create events. I think I only missed two because I had other events that I was at. So, okay. So let's, it's going to be fun. Let's do something fun with this now using gold glaze. And I'm going to use it with a stencil brush and also with a palette knife. Am I doing the paper event in the fall? I think so. I think I am, Sarah. And I, I do a lot of albums with them just because um, it's good value, right? I am done with the mink. No, I'm not. Don't turn it off, Vicky. What are you talking about? You still got to put the hearts through. It's going to be so awesome. Look at, are you ready? I love this. So that just flattened it right out. So it's just another use for your mink when you do mixed media, but mixed media that um, doesn't have like any kind of plastics in it where uh, it would transfer. But can we look at this background again? Can we talk about this? Oh my goodness. Yes, they're virtual classes for this one. We haven't gone back to live classes yet, Debbie. Right, but yes, that one is gonna be so much fun. Are you doing the paper? Oh, you asked me that, I answered it. Did I miss anything? Okay, oh, I love this. So I think I'm going to make it go that way. So now we can go in and we can do something totally different or we could kind of follow the linear aspect of this. Now, something I would like to do with this background later is I would like to find some washi 
and some different pieces that I could put through and we can do a really cool kind of paper piece effect on this and book paper. I want to decoupage some torn book paper in here. So I am thinking I should go in with deuce. Oh, I don't know. Maybe down in here and here. Let's look. So I have a whole stack of my stencils here and let's decide what would be fun. It's all going to be about scale. Okay. So I just grabbed some of these are my exclusives. Some are the ones from American crafts and I'm going to decide what kind of pattern isn't the florals are always fun too, right? Depending on what look you're going to go for. Circles could be fun, but that's going to be a lot. I love that. The little pie chart circles could be very fun. So that maybe I like that. I'm digging that totally different than linear. That could be fun. Maybe I'm not going to go in with the fern leaf. No, no to the words. No, same one, same one circles no christmas no dots could do that that's the one we just used the squiggly words too much open space i'm going to do a new one like this but opposite right so the pigment would be where um the pattern would be where the lines go so that's going to be one of the new stencils i'm working on uh oh that could be fun. What about that? That's an option. So we'll put that there. Bigger dots. Nah. Ooh, the hearts. I still have to put these in my store. I have so much friends to do. And I keep, my mother's like, you need to do it. You keep promising everything and you don't get it done. And I'm like, I know, mom. I know. But this could be fun. I am thinking that it's going to be this one. I'm thinking it's going to be this one. And it's going to go um, kind of off the page here. And maybe down in the corner a bit. It's going to be an accent. It is the one thing, Suze, that I would tell you guys. The thing I never will feel bad in telling you to spend your money on are stamps and stencils. And I'll tell you why because it makes you a Picasso. Like you can't go wrong with purchasing something that just makes creating so much easier and so much fun. So I would never say no to mediums and I would never ever say no to stamps and stencils. When you say, which ones do I need? I would, well, it's the same with distress ink, your favorites, like patterns and make sure you're getting something linear. You're getting something that is repeated patterns, something that you can move the stencil around because it is repeated. You want to look at things that um, are big open spaces, smaller spaces. You want to look at scale. You can never, I don't think, have too many stamps and stencils. Right. And then for stamps, I would say just you don't want everything that's like the most in the teacup. You want things that are like uh, repeated hearts, stars, circles, uh, geometrics, florals, just things that you can get as much bang for your buck. Right. As much bang for your buck. So I'm going to go in. I look at friends. I have to tell you. So I get fab fit fun. And I had put in my thing a this lazy Susan I think this is the best thing ever on your craft table so it is not obviously meant for my craft room but now when I'm working look at I love this so much I can't even tell you I can't even tell you so um I put this across for me and now look at Karen if you're still out there my little container that you made for me I love it so much um so that is on my table now and I love it Get yourself a little lazy Susan. It's the best thing. Okay. So I'm going to go on here and I'm going to do a little bit of these circles first with a stencil brush and then I'm going to go through it with uh, the palette knife. So stencil brush and palette knife so it can go on very light and then textured. So I'm going to go in with golds because that's the theme for tonight. I'm just using the metallics. Okay. 
and I tried to use three different mediums and um, types of metallic. So hopefully you have one of them, right? Hopefully you have one of them. Uh, what are we saying? Hi, Jill. How are you? You have a double tiered Lazy Susan. I have a couple of them, right? But this is one that just came in my FabFitFun. I ordered it as like an extra thing and I love it down here. I put all my containers on it. Oh my goodness. I forgot to bring it down. One of you guys posted. I have to share this with you because if you're going to Michael's this weekend, did you see all of in the, if you go to michaels.com or .ca, wherever you guys live, and you go into the spring decor for like home office and they have a whole line of, it looks like little paint tubes and paint brushes and scissors. And they're all in like a plaster, like a ceramic. I went, one of you posted it, two of you posted it. And I just went and I spent like over a hundred dollars for that. So I can set up a whole different section um, behind me with all of those, like the little camera that it all looks like somebody drew on it. It's freaking awesome. So I did, I just went and bought that freaking camera wasn't in the store. So I had it delivered. So I will share that stuff with you. And funny, I just got something from Allie Edwards for one of her new classes, one about like uh, manipulating paper and it had all the pieces in it. And I went, Oh, those are so cool. I wonder if somebody made those out of paper and it was all from Michael's Vicky needs a GoFundMe account. I just go and spend all of the money. I love it. Right. You bought all of them too, Ashlyn brand. Awesome decor. I love it. Jody. I'm so excited. They didn't have everything, but everything I could find, I bought. Um, there was a question from Jill. Was that stencil in one of your collections? It was, it was, I don't remember which one it was, Jill, but I just ordered every single Vicky Booten stencil that I could find in my embossing folders because we're going to do a whole bunch of fun stuff. So I might actually have this one. If you don't have it, I think it will be added to the store. Just send me an email and I will check. All right. Okay. Let's do the things. So I am going to go in here first with gold glaze, great medium. Uh, it's uh, very inexpensive and tons of bang for your buck. So when you put it down, you're going to put it down like it's butter, but you are watching your cholesterol. Okay. So uh, you don't want a ton of that on there because you don't want a ton in your stencil brush. So I'm going to go in a circular motion or you can tap it. And you only want a very thin layer on here. I'm going to start on the edge and I can use my little scrap piece of paper so I don't have to clean my mat. And I'm going to first put it down with my stencil and stencil brush just to get a really light, fun, circular motion. And if it dries up on you very quickly, you could always just put a little mist of water just to make it a little lighter and it will spread a little bit further so I want to go in here and kind of have not solid gold just kind of this light effect going on and then I'm not going to move my stencil I'm going to blast that one more time it just makes the medium move a little bit more. You don't want your brush wet per se, but you just want the medium. So I'm going to just lift it so you guys can see. See how light and pretty that is? And now I'm going to go in with my palette knife and I'm going to make some of those textural. So not everything. I just kind of want a broken, dragged effect. So. Make sure you load your palette knife on the back side, right? Because if you load it on the top, you can't get the medium off because of the arm of your palette knife. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to very lightly drag some texture through some of those. Okay. So now I have a very soft effect where it went through with my palette knife. And then I have the um, thicker effect where it went through with the stencil brush. 
So now here's the magic thing is I can take this same stencil and I'm going to put it down here and I don't have to load my uh, stencil brush because I can take that medium off now. I missed it. And I'm just going to move the medium I just put on with the palette knife in there. I'm going to wet that one more time. I'm going to clean my stencil brush a bit and then just move that around because it's going to be a little thicker then. So see? But now this is almost this, these two techniques twice because there's a lot of medium on here. So again, I'm just going to take this and put a little bit of, not too much on this one, maybe a little bit more. Okay, just move your palette or knife in one direction and I love it. And that's what I'm going to do on this one because we have other stuff we're going to do on this page. So I will tell you one thing I know already looking at this. This one hardly showed up. After it completely dries, I will lay the stencil down and go in with my um, stencil brush again and just deposit some more. So I want to show you something grab a scrap just anything so i must have something here here just gonna grab instead of you wasting this missed it a lot okay i'm gonna put that down and then you can just totally clean your stencil You could stamp it. Let's put another color on my thing. So I can have two colors now. Clean your stuff. So where'd my water colors go? Let's do this. Quickly. I'm going to take this with the blue. I'll take some blue. Okay. Oh, the navy. Let's put the navy down. I'm just putting it on my mat because I am going to stencil that with my stencil brush right through this stencil and see what we get with the gold and such. Because now I have some fun backgrounds that I can use for cards and I've cleaned pretty much cleaned my stencil off. I'm going to go quickly go and rinse this because I have to do that. And then we're going to do our last one. We're going to put it through the mink to show you with the multi-medium, the matte medium. It's going to be fun. Give me one second. But you see what I'm saying? Why clean that off on a paper towel and then you just throw it away? So by putting it on, see, there's the other thing. If you have one of these sticky mats, if you get wet paper towel, it's much easier to clean this off. It just takes a lot of scrubbing, but that's fun, right? And now I have something that I could use for something else after instead of just throwing it away in a paper towel. So let's do this one. So I'm going to cut a piece of foil. We're going to put this through the mink. So when you are foiling, you want to make sure that it's color side up.
okay? Because the foil is releasing off of a backing. So when you take your foil, you want to put it down color side up because it is releasing off of a backing. So you would take it and I'm going to find the start. So see, that is what you want to put down on to your sheet. Because it will release off of a plastic backing. These are not the best scissors. Remember, I wrecked them last week. There we go. So I am going to put it like this, color side up. Did I say color side up? And now we're going to hope for the best. your sheet. It is very staticky, so just make sure. Get it down there. Very good. And now let's grab my mink machine. going to feed it through. I have it on number five because I just want as much heat as possible. Okay, get in there and smooth it out. And then the rollers will grab it and feed it through. And let's see, fingers crossed if this will work. Uh, the foil technique and mini is a new technique for me. Using your matte acrylic gel, yes because it will remain tacky when you put it through the heat and that will happen. Uh, you can use, if you have a laminator, you, you can buy a $40 laminator. Uh, you might not get the same amount of pressure or the same amount of heat, but it is worth trying and watch because they, a lot of them, Erica now uh, have gone on sale. So you can get some really good deals with them. So I can see where it is transferred. So it will all depend if I got enough medium down. And I might just to be safe, I might put it through twice. I might put it through twice. Yeah, I think you can find that there are some good deals now. <gasps> Can you see it, right? It's gonna be so pretty. I can totally see where it's picked up. I'm gonna peek at it. I'm not gonna show you just yet. I'm gonna see if it needs to go through twice or not. But we need to have the big reveal. So let me just peek before I show you. Don't look. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I'm gonna do it one more time just to get as much of the foil transferred as possible. I'm going to do it this way, see if that makes any difference. Okay, get ready. It's it's going to be so good, right? Uh, Rush's lead singers at the Blue Jays home game tonight. That's very exciting. Hi, Kristen. How are you? We did some fun things tonight. It was fun. It's fun. So what the plan is, is now you guys will have the weekend and the week and I will be on Thursday next week because I am taking the holiday off. I'm taking Easter weekend off. So I will be on Thursday at 7 p.m. I'm going to go on Thursday at 7. And then we are going to uh, make some projects out of what we created tonight. So I made three different backgrounds. I'm going to go and um, also... Uh, on the weekend, I'm going to make a card, a couple card bases, and we're going to make some layouts out of this. So it'll be very fun. Don't forget, friends, too, if you haven't signed up, I still have some kits left for the Sweet Rush weekend. It's going to be so awesome, and we're going to be doing that one in July. 
but the kits will be shipping as soon as all the products here in kitted. And I added a few of the Spectrum Sherbet. Um, I ran out, they sold out, and I did kit up a couple extra. I don't know if what's left online because I haven't been on there today, but I think there still might be one or two. So if that's on vickybooten.com, and I have so much stuff to stock in the store. I just have to. I'm going to be working all weekend doing it. Are we ready? Let's. Are we ready for the reveal? Can you see a hint of it? Can you see the heart? Okay, fingers crossed that this worked, that I got enough medium down on here. I think it's going to be so pretty. I'm peeking. Oh, my goodness. I can't even. Are you ready? <laughs> it's so pretty. Can you see now? And the gold on the pink. Oh my goodness. So here's the other thing I want to tell you. If not enough gold goes on, there's no reason you couldn't go on and put another layer and put it through again. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. I see where I'm going to have to go in and put some more, but get ready for it. It is so freaking pretty. <gasps> Can you see it? But maybe, I don't think it needs any more. I think it's enough. Can you see that? It's so hard because it's with the shine right look how pretty that is right so now we see that there's no reason you can't take that medium and we could put it through a stencil if you wanted to right you could use it and put it through a stencil so remember when we talked about how hard sometimes using the um, black stuff is I think it's enough gold too, because it just needs to be a hint. And I'm going to do something with a card, but look at, I'm going to show you something very quick. Oh, look it. I will show you on here. Let's do this. So I have this background here. So I know I already painted. There's already gold. Uh, there's already medium that I painted with my finger. I know it's on this one because I was going to show you the reveal. I'm going to also go in here with a stencil and show you what this will look like stenciled as well okay so i'm gonna put some gold stencil down and now i have to just put this medium right on my mat because i brought it away or put it away i'm gonna put some of this through my stencil with my blending tool so don't make it too wet because it'll bleed but i'm going to go through here i don't even know if this is upside down or not and I am going to tap some of this in here. Now it's not dry, but you guys are gonna see the reveal on Thursday, okay? So I am going to put text down on here and then I will show you the reveal on Thursday because it has to dry. If I can get it to dry quickly, and I turn the mink off just a sec. But there's no reason you can't use whatever you have to get a fun result, right? Just watch that you don't push it underneath the stencil. And clean your stencil right away too. Okay. I'm not using very much, so maybe I can heat this enough with my heat gun and show you guys pretty sure the stencil's upside down but whatever okay okay i'm going to try with my heat gun throw this right in the sink wash it immediately that medium will not come off if you let it dry set a little bit it's acrylic though right so it's kind of hard to heat gun it get that off my mat because that will be a nightmare and then I'm going to show you one more because it's never enough it's never enough that medium is my matte acrylic gel okay i do have it on vickybooten.com you can find it i'll link it i'll put my share sale links up 
so you guys can find it. I will post it. But it does work beautifully with the mink machine and foiling. So let's see if I can set this up enough. I think this should be okay because it's not too thick. But I can cheat. If your medium is not dry, it will just glue to the foil. This medium has to be dry and tacky for you to get the results. Okay. If the medium is wet, it will just glue to the foil and the backing that it releases off of. So the key is that the medium has to be completely dry because then it will just be tacky. If it's wet, it's glue. So I'm hoping you're picking up what I'm putting down. Do not put your medium through when it's wet or you'll just have a mess. I bit my chick cheek this week. Can you use that foil sheet again? I am 100% using that again, Nancy. Yeah, isn't the heart is so pretty, right? And the gold with those colors. And I'm going to stamp, I think, on it a little bit. But I think that will be a pretty background, right? Just throw... Uh, maybe I'll put my um, photos on the bottom. I think I'm going to be able to put this through and show you guys. So, so if it's not perfect, it's because I didn't let it dry long enough. But I will show you. I will take one for the team, right? I love the brush marks. Just using the cheap brush, right? The more medium, the more foil transferred. But it's very fun, right? You could, we could cut this out too. <gasps> Maybe I'm going to do that and cut the middle out and use it like a die cut. That might be fun, right? And then that just shows you guys some different ideas. So I'm totally going to go through and use this foil again. Because what I can do is just move it around. Like if enough doesn't transfer, I'll just move the foil around. But I'm totally going to do that. The page is really buckled because I overheated it. But maybe it will flatten out if I didn't bake it too much. Let's see what happens because we can. Line it up a little bit better. Although it won't hurt anything because uh, there's nothing for it to transfer onto. Let's see what we get. Vicky, that heart makes a pretty ready made background yeah that would be a fun one right we're all done that one i'd have to wait till the next one but yeah we totally could do something right because um american crafts when we do the ready-made backgrounds it's done there will be one in the fall it's going it's so pretty you guys are gonna love it um oh my goodness why do we get all of this crap on here just a second let me block that user i don't know if it shows up or not i'm trying to and delete the comment and you have to watch friends because even if you've noticed on my um facebook we have had uh some weird comments so i blocked uh one of the people on there make sure you don't give any information out i think as our group grows just uh really watch um it was on facebook so i deleted it hi valerie my friend um just there was some guy commenting on all of them even though it said it was a lady's name it was a fake account so just be careful never uh share your info or because you think it's a fellow scrapbooker i'm not showing you yet okay i'm gonna flip my foil and put it through one more time. Because I might have needed to put a little bit more down, but I'm not sure. So just a second here. Just flipping the foil. And put it through again. 
Uh, yeah, just be careful because I, I delete, I blocked the person, but they kept saying to everybody, do you have a pet? Oh, do you have a pet? And I think it's just some weird scammer that maybe English is second language too, because it, it was weird, weird stuff was coming through. And so just be careful. There's a lot of it going around, right? Hi, Yessi. How are you? I waved to you, Natalie. Saw the Toronto skyline while driving up the hill tonight. You went past my house, Valerie. You went past my house. Or are you on the U.S. side? Or are you in Canada? Yeah, you. there's some weirdo stuff, right? So just make sure you're not... Creepy guy was on the Vicky community group too. Did we get rid of him? Yeah. I try. I'm careful. But sometimes you don't know who you're letting in there, right? You think that it's on the up and up, but they're looking for people to scam. So just be careful. Okay. So this one is very subtle, but I think it's going to be fun. I didn't put parchment with this one. This one is just, you don't need to with a foil, right? Oh, you're on the U.S. side. When I go up the hill from Lewiston, you can see Toronto. Okay. I thought you were over here and I didn't know. I'm going to your neck of the woods tomorrow, Vicki. Tea at the watering can. Yay. That's just up the road for me, Ellen. Literally just up the road. What time are you going? Maybe I'll go. I want some tulips. Maybe I will do a surprise visit, Ellen. What time is your, your tea? So anybody wants to meet me at the watering can tomorrow, we're going to tell you what time. Because I might go there to get a bunch of tulips. So, okay. So this is very subtle, but it's super pretty. You ready? Now I want to know what time Ellen's going to be there. Because I might just show up and surprise her. You've been hit four times with uh, fake Chris Isaac trying to talk to. I love it. Okay, what time? I love it. Um, I love the watering can. Valerie, when you come to visit me, there's so many places. Do you want to go on a wine tour, Valerie, when you come to see me? We totally could do that. So you ready, friends? I think it's super pretty. Can you see? So I had done those little uh, paint marks with a foil. You went to the watering can last Saturday. I love it. I can wait for you. God, tell me what time you're going to be there, Ellen, because I, I can go just to, oh, I love this, friend. So it's very subtle. Wine and water. I love it. Right? So it's very subtle. But I wanted to show you that you can use your stencil. Just make sure you get enough medium. I went too fast and let it dry. But put, you could go through with a palette knife and then just let it dry overnight. And I'll do another one, okay? I will put thicker medium through a stencil and I'll show you what the result this just left the outline because there was not a lot of medium on there but right so pretty okay so that's one thing we did this is still drying I'm trying not to stick anything in it this was the other one that we did so pretty right but we're going to decoupage and do other things on this so this is just two layers and we'll do more right I love this so pretty I love this one so pretty we did this one with heat embossing. Oh, now we talk about backgrounds that we could add. Do you know, friends, like I was going, we have made so many things. And how many time years have I been doing these lives? Like you probably would have like four to five albums full of freaking stuff we've done and learned. Like we do not have to reinvent the wheel every time but oh my goodness i love that i love that and then our heart look at that so look how quick this was tonight and i i'm finishing right on the time so i'm gonna flip the camera and talk to you for a minute okay don't leave me just yet don't leave just yet let's talk hi so this is what i have to say I have stacks. I just bit myself in the lip. That's why I had a hard time getting that word out. I literally bit myself. I got so excited. We've done stacks and stacks of art and backgrounds and layouts and cards and mini albums and altered items. Oh my goodness. Like years of doing these lives. So tonight it never gets old. I never get tired of this. We came up with new ideas. Like how fun was this? 
And I love that now on Thursday, not Friday. So remember that next Thursday, because it's a holiday here in Canada and I'm going to enjoy the uh, four day weekend with my family. I'm going to go live next, like this coming Thursday, whatever day that is at, at 14th or something, whatever it is. Um, at 7 p.m. and we're going to make projects out of this. So we're going to elevate it a little bit more and then we're going to make some projects out of it. I don't know how many, might not do all the backgrounds, but we're going to do something so that I don't feel like you um, are going to miss me too much because I'm not here on Friday. So I have to say though, like let's look at this maybe with the light now. Oh my, can you see it now? <gasps> Oh my goodness, with that medium that's been sitting on your shelf and the mink that you may maybe never took out of the box. Look at, now I just gave you something else to do with it. I love this. I, I, I really do love this. Super simple, super simple, wasn't hard. If you can't do a heart, do a circle, do a square, do squiggly lines, anything. You can do the things. This one, is the dark horse tonight. I freaking love this background. And we use the art wedge and we just drag some cheap watercolor paint. I have these on my site for seven bucks. Like I think they, they retail, I put them on cheap just cause I ordered like 40 of them and now I just want to get rid of them. Um, but you can go on to, to your favorite scrapbook store and find it. It's cheap. It's part of me. It's inexpensive, but look at the magic that we can make with the art wedge and then some gold embossing powder. I freaking love this background. I almost don't want to do anything with it just because I like to look at it and touch it. Isn't that fun? So fun. Any colors you want to do. And then this one, look at this one that we did the kind of draggy technique. I'm almost done, hun. Okay. The boy's down here. He needs his ride, even though I'm not allowed to go bring my red ball with my initials on it and go bowling with him. He won't let me. So that's the other one that we did. That's your favorite. I love it, Don. And then this one was just one we had left over. And I put some gold on there. I'm trying to get so you can see the metallic. <gasps> fun, right? So it's fun tonight. This gives you something to play with this weekend. Even if you don't have the watercolor set, you can use anything that you have that is water soluble and makes water paint. So, uh, and you can use a spatula, whatever you have, just drag some paint around there. Just keep in mind a little bit of color theory because it could get a little muddy because it's wet and the colors mix all together and then it can get pretty brown. But if you dig that, then there's nothing wrong with it if you like the earthier colors, right? But that was so much fun. Do you have any questions before I sign off? Because I have to go be mom now. I got to put my other hat on, my mom hat. But so many things, right? We could just sit and chat. Uh, we could have a night where you could come, we could come and just hang out and talk about clothes. Make a book with all your beautiful pages, Vicki. Yes, but you can make a book because this content is all there, right? But I have stacks and stacks. I was looking through some of the backgrounds that we've done and went, we need to revisit this and do this again, like our, our outer space one, our cosmic one. We've done so much fun stuff. So thanks for a fun night. Thanks, Natalie. And I owe you, we'll chat because we've got to come up with an idea for National Scrapbook Day. We have to come up with a good idea, but I think challenges would be fun. Challenges and giveaways. So I could do a bunch of giveaways and maybe five challenges for the day. So if you're cropping or doing something fun, maybe I'll record a video that can go up that day with five challenges and like maybe each challenge I can do in like five minutes, five minute challenges but then you can do multiples. That could be fun. Remember that one, Natalie, we'll talk about that. But um, I think, I think we're done. Uh, National Scrapbook Day, I think is May 7th. I think it's a Saturday, May 7th, but I love you too, Robin. I, I seriously love you guys so much. Like I sit down with, I had no plan tonight other than watercolor and metallics. I sketched a few things five minutes before I went live and then just went, well, just wherever it leads is where it leads. So it was very loose and organic tonight and so i hope you guys have some fun we'll chat this week i love it uh any questions before i go um thank you as well pamela um 
Thank you, Christina, for joining me. If you're watching after the fact, if you have any questions, let me know. I will post all the links as soon as I get back from dropping Riley off. So I'll try to find that stamp. I'll put all my share sale links into the description of the videos, okay? So yay! National Scrapbook Day is the first Saturday in May, which I think is the seventh. So it will be good. Have a terrific weekend. Make sure you um, etch a little bit of time out of your schedule for some craftiness and do something that makes your heart happy. And uh, if, uh, was it acrylic medium? It was, and I'll link all the things, but yeah, definitely if you didn't see the whole video, it's definitely worth watching from the beginning. This was a fun one tonight. I will see you on Thursday, Thursday, this coming Thursday at 7 p.m for part two and our Easter celebration. We'll have to do something fun for Easter as well. So have a great weekend, have a great night or a happy Saturday for my friends in Australia and other parts of the world. And we'll see you later guys. That was so much fun. Have an awesome night and a great weekend. And thanks for joining me. We'll see you on Thursday for part two. See you later guys.